If you're looking to boost your Mutt team or make some money by selling coins, check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what's going on guys? Clickwood here back again bringing you guys another Madden 16 video. Guys, today what I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about is the salary cap game and uh, I'm going to be telling you guys a player that we've been seeing in a lot of lineups and a guy who is an absolute beast for a very, 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 very cheap price. So one of the things I think that most people know at this point is that your quarterbacks, your running backs, and uh, typically even your wide receivers are going to be pretty damn expensive in the salary cap beta game, but there are ways around that, okay? So one of the things that I want to show you guys today is a player who I think that a lot of you guys are going to really like once we start to take a look at him, and I'm not going to take credit for finding this card by any means. Uh, I was not the one who came across this. I actually saw it on another person's team, and uh, I, I definitely liked the idea. So um, again, I I don't know who came up with the idea. If you did, go ahead. Or if you know somebody, let, let me know in the comments section below. I'd be glad to give them credit for this, for uh, thinking about it and coming up with the idea. But basically, guys, the card that we're going to be taking a look at today is a brand new card that was uh, recently in the game. I'm sorry. We're going to go over here to the auction house. Um and uh, this was recently added to the game, and it's something that I think uh, a lot of people don't really consider, and that's that you can take fullbacks and put them at running back. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take a look at this. Uh, what we found is Lorenzo Neal, okay? Now, I'm going to look at buy now price because this is probably going to be uh, pretty expensive. So um, let's see here. When I found him, I actually paid about 22000 for this card. Now, you can see here that there's an 83 overall version. There's an 82 overall version, but the one that we're actually looking for, oddly enough, is the 81 overall version. Now, this card is $12 for your salary, which is the cheapest of the bunch. Now, if you look at this one, it's actually $44, and I don't know why that one's so damn expensive. It's like It's got good run blocking and stuff, I guess, but... I'm not a big fan of that. I, I like when you look at 59 speed, to me, that's almost worthless. I mean, I understand that you're playing fullback, so his primary thing to do is to, to run block, but still, you look at this card though, and this one is the money card, guys. This thing is 81 overall, which sounds awful, don't get me wrong, but. What we're going to do is actually compare him. Uh, we're going to go into my actual lineup and compare him here in just a moment. But what I want to do is show you some of these stats here, guys, because this card is awesome for running back. So, guys, here's a quick look at my current running back situation. So, normally, I go ahead and start CJ Spiller at running back just because I like the elusiveness. He's pretty cheap um, in terms of, like, the actual price of the card. And his salary cap price isn't too expensive either. And he's a good receiver and things like that. But I really, really like this Lorenzo Neal card because he's almost comparable to CJ Spiller in just about every single thing that I would care about in this game. So obviously their height is exactly the same. Speed is exactly the same. But Lorenzo Neal actually is faster because he has too higher for acceleration. So he's almost maxed out on acceleration with 95 speed. So he is going to get to the edge very, very quickly if you're somebody that likes to do, uh, you know, edge rushes and things like that. The other thing that I really like about this card is that his agility is very high. He has a 95 agility. Now, this is completely unrealistic. It's not Lorenzo Neal whatsoever. He was not anything like this in real life. But as we know, there are different little, quote unquote, um, you know, versions of the cards that are the ultimate legends. And this is his speed version. So he's got the speed. He's got the agility. And he also has some other things that I find really important. His juke move is 95, which is very high. His elusiveness is 95. Again, very, very high. His ball carrier vision is a 90 freaking 7. So uh, now... I'm not exactly for certain what ball carrier vision does. We we haven't 100% found testing that proves that ball carrier vision does anything. But from what I've heard from people that that have you know that have played this game a lot, a lot of them say that ball carrier vision is basically your ability to kind of like instead of getting stuck on the offensive lineman behind them, your player will just naturally like float between the offensive lineman and find the hole. Now again, I don't know if that's true or not, but if it is true, 97 is very high for that attribute. Now the problem with this Lorenzo Neal card is something that you're probably already going click with. Why the hell would I ever grab this card? He's got 69 carrying. 
that is very, very low. Absolutely. I am not going to try and tell you guys that that is not low. So what I'm going to say though, guys, is that fumbling in this game for the most part is not that much of an issue for running backs specifically. I haven't found that much of an issue with running backs fumbling in this game. Now, maybe some of you have, and maybe it's just the style of running that you have versus the style of running that I typically do. But to me, it Carrying is not that important, and I have played some games with Lorenzo Neal, both in the salary cap game as well as in Ultimate Team, this specific Lorenzo Neal card, and I'll tell you guys, I haven't fumbled with him even once. Now, that could just be happenstance, but I believe that carrying is an overrated attribute in this game, especially if you're not going up against people that have super ridiculously stacked teams. So when you're talking about salary cap, because there's a limit on the amount that you can spend, you're going to not typically run into as many people that have the super stacked lineups, especially defensively. Most people are going to spend a lot on quarterback, running back, and specifically on their wide receivers, which is going to leave you know their safeties and possibly even their linebackers without super high hit power most of the time. So you're not going to have as many situations where you're going up against guys that have the ridiculously high hit power. So that's a big advantage, obviously, and that's a reason that I still like this Lorenzo Neal card, even though it only has the 69 carrying, I still think that's a pretty damn decent uh, card overall. So again, guys, this is Lorenzo Neal. I think it's a very, very good price, 12. And if you look at CJ Spiller, this is a card that I would say is fairly comparable to him in just about everything. If we go back here and we look at all the attributes, you're going to see that most of these things they're pretty damn similar. The other thing, obviously, is that C.J. Spiller is a much better receiver. Lorenzo Neal is not much of a receiver. So if you're somebody that passes to your running backs a lot, you know, and, and you put them into situations where they have to go down the field and make catches, Lorenzo Neal is not the card for you, obviously. But if you're somebody that uh, throws to him in the flats or, you know, little routes like that where they're not typically going to drop it even with low carrying, I think Lorenzo Neal can still get the job done in those things. Now, uh, some other things here, if you take a look at these attributes, his kick return's horrible. So, uh, you know, you don't want to put him at kick returner probably. But look at all of these attributes. I just think it's so, it's so important that you get a card that, it can get you as many of the attributes that you need while not spending a lot. The other thing that is hidden about this card a little bit, because it doesn't show up in the main attribute comparison, but the stamina on this Lorenzo Neal card is a 98. That's actually nine higher than CJ Spiller. And even if you compare it to some of the other cards here, you're going to see that it's much higher than my Todd Gurley that I have. And it's even higher than some of the other fullbacks like Derek Coleman and, and everybody else. So you're seeing, guys, that this, this card is really, really stacked. He doesn't have great attributes in a lot of these things. But one thing that I actually found to be hilarious, and I don't understand why, he has amazing route running and amazing spectacular catch. His ca his normal catching attributes horrible. It's like a 63 or whatever we saw, but 93 for spec catch, 87 for route running. That's incredibly high for a running back or for a fullback in this case. But uh, you know, very very good card as far as that stuff goes. So again, guys, I really really would recommend that you try out this card. Worst case scenario is you don't like him and you sell him and you only lose a couple thousand coins. I mean, again, it's a pretty cheap card all things considered. And uh, again, I think that for $12 on the salary cap versus if you had to get a similar card in CJ Spiller spending 68, I mean, that's a massive difference. Think about what you can do with 56 more dollars on your salary cap squad if you have CJ Spiller or if you take out CJ Spiller and you put in Lorenzo Neal. Just think about it. And also consider the fact that with the 98 stamina, he's not going to get tired that often either. So that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do me a quick favor, drop a like, and also subscribe to the channel. And again, again, guys, let me know in the comment section below if there's other things that you want to see in, in this channel, or if you have any other comments or other cards that are extreme budget beasts like this. I think there are some other ones that I think people should take a look at, maybe like the John Randall Speed version. That's a pretty beastly card itself, and you could definitely make use of him on your salary cap squad as well. But he's not going to give you the type of value that this Lorenzo Neal does. I mean, this card might be the best value card in all of salary cap Madden right now. So again, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll